Mr. Rothagi, thank you very much for speaking to NDTV. My first question to you is, do you feel that now after eight months, the Narcotics Control Bureau saying that we do not have proof which is beyond reasonable doubt and thus no case is made. Do you think it is as simple as blaming Mr. Samir Wankhede? What was no, happening sir. in the NCB for eight months? Look, Sanket, I don't want to blame any individual officer because I am not privy to which officer did what. Correct. Let us look at the NCB as a body or as a unit or as a prosecuting agency. Tall claims were made, as you mentioned, about international drugs, cartels, and as if Aryan Khan was going to earn money by being a member of those cartels. Tall claims which were flights of fancy, which were made only because I think this boy belongs to a celebrity family and it, it was as if the agency had kind of some axe to grind that we will show the world what we are doing. There's all kinds of bravado. But the bottom line was, in a drug matter, the drug must be found in the body of the person, in his pocket, in his shoes, or in conscious possession of his car, his house, or whatever, or actual material to show that a man was peddling drugs or was consuming drugs. Mm. None of this was available on day one. We had said, I had said in the court, that this is the case of no evidence. It is, in fact, legal lingo or legal jargon to say that there is not enough material to prosecute. It's only a polished way of saying it. Paris Okay, we seem to be losing that connection on the Mr. Mukul Rothi. completely angry. Many factors which contribute. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mukul Rothi, we lost you for a moment there. Uh, uh, well, let, yeah, let, so you're saying that there was no material evidence in this particular case. My point is what then happens... Uh, see, today it is one, one officer of the NCB or the, uh, the NCB agency. Tomorrow there could be another case where the same thing will happen. How do... See, it's very convenient for an agency to say, uh, we arrested someone, we investigated, we didn't find anything. But by then, a character assassination has happened. By then, lots of reputation damage has happened. Who compensates for that? And more but importantly, Sanket, why should these officers not be punished? Sanket, the way our legal system works, the system is that... The, the prosecution is not answerable for a wrongful arrest. They are not answerable for a charge sheet being filed or not being filed. That's the way the legal system works. You need to amend the criminal laws. You need to make them more sensitive. You need to make them more uh, attentive. And the fact that if a particular officer does a particular thing, he will not have uh, immunity. Today, under our laws, every government officer, whether of this body or that body, has immunity from any action if he is exercising or discharging official or legal functions. So, you know, the way the system is framed, if there is no answerability, these kind of cases will go on. But Mr. Sinti, they are going Mr. Rodgi, do you think that this needs to change urgently? Otherwise, it is so convenient. 100%. You need to change. You, according to me, Three things have to be done. One, change the laws, make it action-oriented. If you take a particular action as an officer, you won't have the shield which is available to every government officer. Mm -hmm. That you act in public, in, I mean, uh, in discharge of your duties, nothing can be done. Mm -hmm. So that has to change. Secondly, laws relating to automatic compensation for wrongful arrest and custody should come in so that people don't have to file cases for compensation, which will take 100 years or 50 years. So nobody files those cases. And thirdly, and most important, the Supreme Court must reiterate the law so that it filters down once again. The law is there, namely that power to arrest is not equal to the actual uh, uh, act of arrest. Hmm. Barely because you have the power does not mean that you exercise it in a flippant or a light-handed manner. Hmm. 
the greater the power, the greater the responsibility. So let that law be put down again. Let it be reiterated. Let there be compensation. Let there be a removal of that shield, so that you know some somebody is answerable. I mean, let's not talk about this case. According to me, Aryan Khan was very lucky. He spent only 25 days. I mean, day in and day out, I do cases where people have spent one year, two True. years, three years True. as their under trial. Charge sheet filed, not filed for five years, four True. years, three True. years. Supplementary charge sheets are being filed. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and it goes on and on. There is complete deprivation of liberty. So this case is in fact the lightest of those cases. If you look at spectrum of cases pending in courts, you will be shocked and ashamed to know. Very, very, very well said. And and I think Mr. Rotigi, uh, from what you are telling us, that that should be something which must be debated or learnt from this particular case. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mukul Rodgi, for joining us uh, on the big fight. Thank you.